Trump's history-making decision has already had an impact on other nations and opened the door for other countries to follow. Guatemala followed the United States just two days later. On December 25, 2017, Guatemalan President Jimmy Morales announced his country would move its embassy to Jerusalem. Today, it becomes the second nation after the United States to officially do so. CBN News got the first interview with the president in Israel. Guatemala has been a blessed nation, and I believe we have had an excellent relationship with the people of Israel since the foundation of the State of Israel with the President Arevalo Bermejo in 1948. And since then, we've had excellent relations, and we have to strengthen them, and I believe we'll be receiving blessings for both peoples by doing the right thing. At the opening, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu welcomed Guatemala's president and cited the historic relationship between Israel and Guatemala. There's a Guatemala screen in many cities and many communities in Israel because we remember our friends. And Guatemala is our friend. And it's a very brave decision. It's a historic decision and uh, we are happy about this. It's, as the president have, has said, it's the correct decision. Sarah Angelina Solis is the Guatemalan ambassador to Israel. Guatemala was also the first country in the world to establish an embassy in Jerusalem in 1956. The first country in the world. So now we add another uh, milestone to this history, that is the return of the embassy to Jerusalem. Guatemala has a history of supporting Israel. In 1948, it joined the U.S. in recognizing the Jewish state. After President Harry Truman did so, following David Ben-Gurion's declaration of Israel's independence. There are very few countries that have this kind of history. Yeah. So we, we feel very close to the state of Israel, and we have created a, a unique friendship. Israeli leaders, including Michael Oren, see the U.S. and Guatemala as just the beginning. We've had intimations from the Czech Republic, uh, from, uh, from Hungary, uh, some Latin American countries as well. Um, we'll be eagerly awaiting them, and there'll be very nice places available in Jerusalem. This is not uh, the end of a process. I believe, actually, it's the beginning of a process. What uh, the U.S. administration and President Trump was doing, I think, was he was, in a way, shooting the starting shot for a race. And I believe there will be many other nations that will follow the United States. Jerusalem Mayor Nir Barkat helped facilitate the move of the Guatemalan embassy. They're very cheerful and happy and good people, and I'm very proud of our partners in Guatemala. So that would be the second embassy moving. I was amazed by the innumerable uh, amount of congratulatory messages that the embassy received, not only from Israel, but from all over the world, in many languages, from Africa, from Europe, from Latin America, saying, congratulations, Guatemala, we support you. They were saying, our country should do the same. Our president should take that decision. And that's where Guatemala comes in. It has one of the highest percentages of evangelical Christians in the world, and one reason why the country is on its way to Jerusalem. People in Guatemala pray for the peace in this region, pray for Jerusalem, and they are excited. They call me, it's an honor that it was during your term. I feel privileged. I feel moved. I feel that this is a gift from God. I know that a lot of blessings will come after this decision. This is a promise in the Bible, in Genesis. And uh, I don't think, I'm sure, many blessings will come for Guatemala.